Hi, this is Easy Engineering. Today's topic is the auto cycle. Auto cycle is an ideal thermodynamic cycle which makes your gasoline fueled car to move and speed up by performing a four piston strokes of the car's engine. So, to understand the strokes of this cycle, let us first name the key terms for this topic. First is the cylinder, the space to which the piston travels up and down, top dead center, farthest point of the pistons upward travel, bottom dead center, farthest point of the pistons downward travel, stroke. This is what we call when the piston travels from bottom dead center to top dead center or vice versa. Intake valve introduces the air and gasoline mixture into the cylinder. Exhaust valve evacuates and burns gases from the cylinder. Spark plug provides heat energy by its spark. And finally, piston, the one that converts the heat energy from the combustion into mechanical energy that will rotate the car's wheels. So now, we are ready for our main event, the four strokes. And here, our intake valve is open, and this is what we call the intake stroke. Piston travels downward from top dead center to bottom dead center to draw the air and gasoline mixture into the cylinder. So as you can see, the volume increases. Next is the second stroke. Piston travels upward to compress the air and gasoline to make it a combustible mixture. So since this is the compression, and as you can see it clearly, the volume decreases and the pressure increases. This is called the compression stroke. Before moving to the third stroke, we will need something to give us power, and that is where the combustion comes in. Here, the spark plug now ignites, provides heat to the fuel and oxygen, which will produce combustion. The combustion is what we call the heat addition to our engine, and of course, the pressure increases. Now, we can move to the third stroke by utilizing that heat energy from the combustion. So here, the pressure now decreases and the volume increases, and this stroke is what we call the power stroke. It's called as the power stroke as this is the power that moves your car and will keep the cycle from going around. Now, after using the air and fuel mixture, its waste will now need to be evacuated. This is what we call the heat rejection of our engine. The exhaust valve is open to assist the evacuation of the waste gases from the cylinder, making the pressure to decrease. And finally, the last stroke. The last stroke will now be used as we need something to evacuate the waste gases out. The piston will now travel upward to push out the waste gases and this is what we call the exhaust stroke. So that's it. Engineering is a fun thing and it always has been. See you again for our other easy and fun engineering topics. Easy engineering. Engineering topics made easy and fun for you.